Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Phil. I work for a company called Symmetry Music Productions. That's my own business. I help people uh, creating music uh, with creating music and uh, help them with melody creation, beat production, recording, all that type of stuff. So uh, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a catchy hook, uh, which is also called a melody over chords within a certain key. So if you like the video, please hit, hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you would like to get more tips and tricks about music production that I use every day. So um, to make any music, knowing music theory will really help you. Um, music theory is the foundation of music. If you have an understanding of that, you'll be better off. You can make music without music theory, but and it may sound good. Honestly, I created music that sounded pretty good without music theory, but knowing it will help you. So I highly recommend that you learn it. Hey guys, so uh, here is the Logic Pro X DAW, which is a uh, Mac uh, program. And uh, with the DAW, uh, there is uh, the ability to record, mix, edit music. Uh, and uh, if you're not familiar with the DAW, there's a lot of videos you can find about different DAWs, but uh, it's also known as a digital audio workstation. Um, the, with the DAW pulled up here, as you can see, I created uh, some chords that we can sing over for a melody. It's in A minor, and it's at 100, 100 BPM, which is beats per minute. Uh, and uh, with this chord progression, this is what it sounds like. So it just repeats. And we're just going to be creating a melody over these chords. Now, uh, again, it's an A minor. And as you can see, I chose certain chords uh, within the key of A minor. Um, as far as music theory, if you don't know it and uh, you want to learn how to create chords, uh, there's lots of videos on, on that. In fact, I'll probably make one later. But uh, uh, we're talking about melody creation today. So here's a melody that I'm just going to pull out of the air. Um, I can sing and music is kind of built in me. So it's easy for me to kind of pick and choose notes that fit in the key. So I'll just sing a melody uh, for you to give an idea of uh, um, what type of melody I can create um, just out of the air. Sounds like a verse melody to me, but uh, that's just pulling notes out of the air. And uh, I, if you have music built in you, meaning like you're you're a musical person and you have the ability to sing, it's a lot easier to find notes uh, with a melody than it would be to use an instrument and come up with notes. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about the pentatonic scale, and the pentatonic scale is uh, a way for you to create a melody within a key that's always going to sound good. Again, we're in A minor key, and the pentatonic scale is, uh, let me pull up the, um, let me pull up the piano roll here. So uh, the piano, this is the piano roll, so we're going to be playing notes within the key of A minor. As you can see, this is signifying what note I'm playing. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. It's all the white keys. Uh, there's no of the uh, black keys. Here it's all white keys in A minor, uh, and then the opposite of A minor, the major uh, scale is C major, and that's all the white keys as well. But uh, with A, uh, A is the first note, B is the second note, oops, A is the first note, B is the second note, C is the third note, D is the fourth note, uh, E is the fifth note, F is the sixth note, G is the seventh note, and then it goes back to one, which is an octave and A. So uh, the, the pentatonic scale is uh, the first, sec first note, second note, third note, fifth note, and sixth note. So in the A minor key, it would be A is the first note, B is the second note, C is the third note, E is the fifth note, and then F is the sixth note. So uh, with this, if you play any of a, B, C, E, F in this in the key with a chord progression. It's gonna sound good no matter what chord progression it is. So uh, let's give it a listen. So 
So, so yeah, so uh, th I created that melody using the pentatonic scale and it all sounded great. So, um, but for me, I like to have a little more flexibility with my melody choice. Uh, and uh, I like to just kind of pull the notes out of the air and see what I can come up with. I record my melodies that I create and I pick the, the, my most favorite one. But uh, so if this was a chorus, how would I sing it? I might sing it a little differently, probably a higher pitch. Uh, so I just pulled those notes out of the air it's fun to do but uh, but yeah so with melody creation the pentatonic scale is your friend uh, use the pentatonic scale as far as the chords I chose um, I just went with some pretty standard chords um, it was, it's like a all in the key of a minor so um, feel free to mess around with chords and your melodies <clears throat> but the pentatonic scale use it when you are having a hard time creating or finding the melody that you want to use if you can pull the notes out of the air do that and sing them and then write them down or record them or play them on an instrument but uh, the pentatonic scale use it if you're having trouble so uh, getting to the point of the matter of uh, you know why we're even uh, having this video uh, is because you want to learn how to create a melody but here's the truth in the matter uh, creating a catchy hook is the culmination of all the musical hooks you've ever heard and liked over the years uh, and each person's hook will sound different and there's no secret formula for creating the perfect hook there's just there's just not um, I honestly believe it's a gift from God I uh, believe in God so I, I, I think it's a gift from God you could say it's from the universe or however but I think it's coming it's uh, it, 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 it it's kind of mysterious in a way of how uh, how we create melodies because we don't actually know where, where, where they come from. We're just kind of pulling them from the air. Um, so the first step is to create a catchy hook that you like. And if you like it, other listeners might like it too. So um, start creating. Uh, but the more you practice, uh, the better uh, you'll get. So, um, so just keep practicing and keep creating catchy hooks. And sooner or later, you're gonna get better and better and better and better, and people are gonna start saying, "Oh, that's I like that." You're like, yeah, well, you know. So, uh, so to wrap up, the best way for creating catchy hooks is if you can't just pull notes from the air, to use the pentatonic scale. Um, using any note in the pentatonic scale will make your uh, melody sound good in any chord in in the key. So. Um, so, with that being said, thank you very much again for watching the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please hit the uh, subscribe button. And I'll be posting more videos about tips and tricks um, on melody, harmony, uh, music theory, music production, uh, music creation, uh, engineering, all that stuff uh, with my videos with symmetry. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. Keep creating.